Hello everyone. If you are part of product development, you are aware of this problem. There are old features in your product with no documentation. It takes so much time to write these documents from the scratch. It is stressful, right? What if you could use the screenshots of the existing feature and create a technical document out of it? I have made a very special prompt for Google AI Studio, which you can use. It uses Gemini 2.5 Pro. This prompt helps you use your feature screenshots and start making technical documents much faster. So how does it work? It is simple. I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process and give you the prompt for free. First, you need to input the prompt. Then you need to upload multiple screenshots of a particular feature. The AI looks at the pictures and it asks you simple questions like if this button is important or what happens when you click here. It asks for things the screenshots don't show. You have to respond back with simple answers. The AI uses the screenshots and your answers to create the technical document. It is as simple as that. Let's see this in action. Go to aistudio.google.com and get yourself a free account. You can also log in with your existing Google account. Click on the chat icon right here. Click on the system instructions and paste the prompt I have provided. I'll be sharing this prompt later in the description. You can start the conversation with a simple hi. It's going to take a second. The AI will give you instructions about the best practices, like just focusing on one specific functional module. You can upload multiple screenshots of a particular feature so that AI understands different aspects of the feature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use v0.dev screenshots for this demo. I'm going to grab the screenshots right now. And I'm going to run this. So the model is processing and it is going to ask me more questions. AI has processed both the screenshots 1 and 2. It is asking us to confirm the scope whether to include or exclude a feature in the screenshot. For instance, include the search and exclude the header. It is also asking us to confirm the relationship between two screenshots so that it can understand the workflow. When you scroll down, you can find more questions about each screenshot. AI is collecting specific details from you to ensure your final document has all the necessary information. I'm going to copy paste this to a notepad to create a response. I have filled all my responses here and highlighted my answers for your understanding. Key points to note here are you can answer in line to the original questions. You can mention out of scope to exclude a few questions. And for the most part, you can copy paste the answers from the question itself so that it is easy to respond. Now you can copy paste this back to the original chat. Just checking to make sure I have copy pasted everything correctly and hit run. This is going to take a few minutes. Great, the AI has confirmed it is ready to create the document. Now we know AI has a very good understanding about our feature. All I have to do is say start now and hit run again. The AI is working very hard for you to create the technical document. It's almost done. Good. Let's see this. Wonderful. It has prepared the document and it captured all the specific details about the feature and the workflow. It's a simple example, but if you upload more screenshots, AI will request you to answer additional questions in multiple follow-up rounds. Try this prompt and let me know about your experience in comments. Now you have extracted all the key ingredients from the screenshot and created a technical document. 
it is time to create more useful documentation out of this. For instance, I can type generate user manual and hit run. And this will reformat the tech document to a new format. Let's wait. Okay, there you go. Let's try something else. I want to create test cases. Let's do it. It's going to take a second. Okay, it is working as well. It is better to create a detailed prompt for user manual and test cases in a new chat. That will increase the quality of the output. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to work on it and I'll create a separate video for it. Like this video if you find this useful and I will create more. Subscribe my channel for more useful stuff. Thank you for watching.